Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be telling you how to load a CSV file into an ADSO in SAP BW4 HANA using planning function. Here, planning function is RSPL file upload AO. This one is the standard planning function you can get while creating the planning function. If you are a fresher or experienced, this is very important to know all the steps because here I will be telling you step by step process like how to create you know all the steps like you know query and aggregation label filters planning function so I will be showing everything one by one so that you can get to know how to upload the file so first what is the scenario here in this scenario I will show you a user is able to upload data into an ADO so with the following information. So here you have total five fields. Suppose you have these five fields in your ADO so those are cal day, customer, material, doc currency, and del value. So here now the CSV file will have the following information. Now those are calendar day, material, and delivered sales order value. You need to remember that. We have five fields in the ADSO, but we have only three fields in the CSV file, and the other two fields will be using in the filter. So that I will be explaining in the later part. So suppose you have filled a CSV file like this with these three values: three calendar day, material, and value. And now, what is our objective? Now, in order to do uh, or load the data into ADSO, we have to create the few things, and those are first ADSO, then HCPR, aggregation layer, filter, query, and planning function and planning sequence. So, in the first step is the ADSO. So, in the first step, you have to create an ADSO where I can plan, I can do the planning, and here. You have to set the following characteristics, and those are data mart direct object, and you have to also enable the option called planning enable. So if you set these characteristics, then you know this will work as a info queue because you can see this information like all characteristics are key, and ADSO will behave like an info queue. And in the next step. We have to add this info object, those five fields that we have mentioned up there. You have to add those fields here. So, once your ADSO is ready, you have to create the composite provider on top of the ADSO. So, you have to just simply do this mapping and you have to activate the composite provider. And once you do this, you have to create the aggregation level on top of the composite provider. And let me tell you that this is a standard process. Like you have to have the ADSO first, then you have to create the composite provider, and then aggregation level on top of the composite provider. So here uh, you can create the aggregation level in a T code. There's a standard T code at RS plan. And also, if you have access to the SAP HANA Studio or Eclipse. There also you can create the aggregation level. So we can create the aggregation level and those fields will be automatically available once you put composite provider in the base. So you can get the another field called info provider for selection or filtering. So next step is to create the planning filter. So as I said that you can also create the planning filter in RS plan. So you have to go to this T code and you can create the filter based on that uh, aggregation level. And here you can, uh, I want to fill the fields, customer and dog currency via filter. I will also add filter info provider which was added in the aggregation level in the filter. Therefore, I create a filter on aggregation level and that filter will look like below. Just let me show you that. 
so this is my planning filter here i have filtered suppose c04 and ados name and the currency meaning that from this we are going to load data into this ADSO and and which data and we are actually also selecting the particular data like the filtered data like for customer C04 and only for document currency USD only that data is going to be added so now once your filter is ready you have to create the query you can create the query on the top of aggregation level, not on top of the composite order. That also you have to remember. And once you, while creating, you have to mention in the planning, you can see this, this box, start query in input mode. You have to do this check mark in order to set this query for planning. And in the next part, In the filter section of the query you can you have to set you have to add this filter that filter we have created in rs plan that filter you have to add in the in the filter section of the query so once you have done that then you have to add the key figures the key figure is this delivered sales net value and remaining objects uh, now row and column you know you can add like material and and the important thing for the key figure like here the deliver net sales value here you have to go to this tab called planning and you have to make it input ready then only it will allow you to do the input in the AO. so once that part is done you can now save the query and you can open this into the AO so once you open in the AO, you can get this kind of uh, you know the value and also this cell this delivered value cell will be input ready because you have already mentioned the key figure in the query definition like input ready here so after that once you do this uh, you have to create the planning function so while creating the planning function you have to choose the option called file upload from AO and this is the standard planning function available while creating the planning function so you can choose this one and you can create the planning function on top of that compose on the aggregation level once the planning function is created uh, you have to put some standard Know, separators and file delimiter those things are standard you can choose by yourself and also the fields to be chosen or is used those are those filter value you have to select here so once your that part is done you have to create the planning sequence in the planning sequence you have to just add those aggregation level filter planning function you have created and you have to adjust and once you have done up to planning sequence then you can add that so you can add that planning sequence into your file that AO file you have opened in the right side in the display you have to right click and you have to add the planning object here the planning object is your planning sequence so this planning sequence you just add here you can just right click and you can find it and once you have added that planning sequence here you have to right click and execute this and once you will execute this so it will ask you to load data from your csv so whatever csv file you have loaded in your system so it will it will take you to the path and if you select any of the csv file then uh, it will so whatever data you have set in the csv file it will come up on your AO. and once that is done it will ask you or uh, you have the option to save the data on the upside bar 
here you can get the save button and if you save it so this data will be directly saved into your ADO so that we have created and here you have another option to save data via a button you can create a macro uh, here on your AO and if you just and set this planning sequence in for this macro macro so that uh, you can also save the data using this button so in this way you can see view the data into the ADO so and you can see that the data has been added and it is successfully done so that's all about this tutorial I believe you have understood it well and you can do it from your end and the most important thing please comment below if you have liked it and also please look into the other tutorials i've given the links in the video description please look those and thank you for watching